with Tara Katie, and this is Octi, and you're watching The Olive Jar on Ancient Faith Kids. Please excuse Octi, he had a little injury to his eye that we're going to have to get fixed. It doesn't even hurt, I promise. All right, wonderful. Today, we're going to talk about fasting. Ah! What? I hate fasting! I hate fasting! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think that's the best way to start this video. Let's try that again, okay? Deep breath. Okay. Hi, this is and this is and you're watching the on Ancient Faith Kids. Today, we are going to talk about fasting. Very good. We're going to talk about fasting. Now, fasting is not always an easy subject to talk about, but we can't pretend that it doesn't exist because it does. So we're going to tackle it today. Now, Octi, what is fasting? That's a great subject. Let's ask our friend, Father Steve. Oh, hi, Father Steve. You know what? I, I think we're good. Thank you, Father. I, I really appreciate it. But I think Thank I think you. we got this. And we'll bother Father Steve some other time. Okay, what do you think the fasting is? Fasting is when we choose not to eat certain foods at certain times. It usually in regards to giving up meat, dairy, and eggs for a period of time. That's right. And it can also be giving up different things, certain things for certain people at certain different times. It's a little bit different for each person. And that is where you want to talk to your priest about that. Thank you. That was great. Good job. Mm -hmm. We Orthodox Christians have a big fast coming up, the 40 days of Great Lent, 47 if you include Holy Week, all leading right up to Pascha. This is the fast of repentance, refocusing and journeying towards Christ's great and glorious resurrection. I know all of that. I really do. I don't want to seem like I don't love God, but I have a hard time fasting. I understand. Okay. Hey, what are you guys doing? Anna, we're talking about fasting. Let's go see what she's up to. Oh, fasting? I just love fasting. I'm really good at it. I have a whole Pinterest board full of recipes and a whole cabinet of cookbooks. I've been doing it so long now that it feels normal. That must be really nice. I guess I just miss ice cream. Oh, I have a whole freezer full of fancy oat milk ice cream bars. They're so good. You know, let's get you out of this tub. It's funny you mentioned those fancy oat bars. Uh, when I was younger, we didn't really have all of these fancy fasting foods. <laughs> those were the olden days. Oh, the olden days. How old do you guys think I am? We're not going to answer that. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what? Let's go outside and talk. It's a beautiful day. Well, just think back to when the apostles were alive. They had fewer food options. It truly was about simplicity, thinking less about food and more about God. Food is wonderful, but it's important to have a healthy relationship with food. God wants us to have a healthy relationship with food. That's why the church prescribes, kind of like a doctor would prescribe a medicine, fasting, so we can refocus, reprioritize God in our life, to not only say that we love him, but to show that we love him. I'm sending you a link to my Pinterest board so you can get inspired. Thank you. By the way, did you hear about Jofonzo? He got into a big fight with Charlie because he stole his scooter and he hated his new haircut. And that was the ninth time he insulted him. And they've never uh, been close friends because Jofonzo hates him. Should we really be talking about this? Okay, because I promise I wouldn't. Well, yes. <clears throat> I think you bring up a great point. None of our fasting is worthwhile if we're not fasting from other bad habits like wasting time, self-centeredness, and gossip. Do you think that was gossip? Not only do we want to watch what goes into our mouths, we want to watch what comes out of it too. We're also more careful about what goes into our mind. Kyria Sadakosti, or Lady Lent, is a helpful visual, traditionally used in Greece to model an ideal Lenten demeanor. One time I saw someone at church eating pizza during Lent. Is that right or wrong? That's a great question. We never ever want to judge what someone else is eating. There are times when people are not able to fast for very serious reasons. They might have a medical condition, serious allergies, or a personal issue that makes fasting from food nearly impossible. In these cases, a priest will give a blessing for them to have a different fasting guideline. In other words, don't worry about what your neighbor is eating. Just focus on what you can do. 
One of my favorite sayings that I've heard over and over again during fasting seasons is, keep your eyes on your own plate. That means don't worry about what your neighbor is eating. Just focus on what you can do. Um, which my chickens have escaped. Everyone's a little different, but wherever you're at, just know that you're not alone. Struggling towards Christ takes work, and we're all on different parts of our journey, but we're all still in this together with the same goal. But what about my freezer full of premium oat milk ice cream bars? Do I just throw them in the trash can? A little treat here and there can get us through the hard days of Lent. Just be careful not to go crazy hoarding and seek out opportunities to share with others. Okay. Would you like one? Sure. Perfect. We hope you have or are having a very blessed Lent. May we grow closer to Christ during this time, and may we grow in love towards our neighbor more and more, even when it's difficult. Got questions? Ask your priest. I'm Pastor Tara Cady. I'm here with my friends. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. And we're off to go get Octi's eye fixed. <laughs>